Good morning. The June 22nd, 2022 meeting of the Board of Estimates is now called to order. The board continues to meet in this hybrid format. For those of you here live, please remember to silence your phones or any electronic devices. And for those who are attending virtually, please keep yourself on mute until you've been recognized by this board. At this time, I would like to ask our amazing clerk, clerk Ms. Celeste Amato, for any corrections, additions, or noted abstentions to today's agenda. Madam Clerk, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. This morning, we have no changes or corrections to the agenda, and we have received no protests. Thank you. That's the quickest opening statement we've had. Uh, there's more. There's just a few more. <laughs> it is quite soon this morning. Um, we have the following uh, deferrals withdrawals on page 79 through 80, item number 10, Bureau of Procurement, contract number B5051154, citywide violation towing services, this item is being withdrawn at the request of the acting city purchasing agent. And we have one item that's moved to the non-routine and that is on page pages 45 through 47, Department of Public Works, settlement consent order and reimbursement agreement for Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant. We have the following abstentions this morning. The Honorable Mayor Brandon Scott on page number seven Item, num uh, item Health Department Provider Agreement, Johns Hopkins University. The Honorable President Nick Mosby has no abstentions. The Honorable Bill Henry has no abstentions. City Solicitor James Shea has no abstentions. And Director of Public Works Jason Mitchell has no abstentions. And that concludes my business. Thank you, Madam Clerk. At this time, I'll take a motion to approve the opening statement. So moved. Second. It's been moved and probably seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The opening statement is now adopted. I would now like to direct the board's attention to a memorandum from our office dated June 21st, 2022, identifying matters to be considered as routine agenda items. Together with any corrections, additions, abstentions, and no votes that have been noted by our clerk, I will entertain a motion at this point uh, to approve everything contained in the routine agenda. So moved. Second. It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. And all those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The routine agenda is now adopted. For the first item on the non-routine agenda can be found on pages 45 through 47, Department of Public Works. This request is to approve and execute a settlement agreement, consent order, and reimbursement agreement with the State of Maryland and the Department of Environment with regard to the operation of the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant. On behalf of the Department of Public Works, we have Deputy Director Garbart uh, here to present or... Actually, we have uh, uh, Mr. Ingram, Darnell Ingram, uh, the uh, general. general counsel for Department of Public Works. Uh, Mr. Counsel, the floor is yours. Yeah. Like, like the purple, by the way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a red and white man, but uh, <laughs> uh, good, uh, <laughs> um, good morning, honorable members of the board, Mayor Scott, President, City Council President, Comptroller, and on other honorable members. Um, today, uh, DPW is requesting this honorable board to approve a consent order and reimbursement agreement between the Mayor and City Council and uh, the Maryland Department of Environment. Um, specifically, uh, the Mayor City Council applied for the Department of Public Works um, received and authorized um, MPDS permit as well as a state discharge permit, which um, are used for the Back River um, Wastewater Treatment Plants as well as the Patapsco, River Plant, uh, Patapsco Wastewater Treatment Plant. And around the end of August of 2021, MDE issued a letter of compliance and enforcement regarding the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant and the Patapsco Wastewater Treatment Plant, noting violations of its NPDS permits. Immediately thereafter, Dr. Mitchell, um, Director of DPW, submitted an emergency procurement request to the Director of Finance, which was approved to initiate corrective measures to address the plant's noncompliance. Um, in September, um, a couple of weeks later, uh, DPW submitted a strategic plan to MDE that addressed the immediate, short, and long term to address the plant's noncompliance. Thereafter, the parties between those agencies met weekly and bi weekly to address the plant's issues. And in January of 2021, MDE filed a lawsuit against the Mayor and City Council regarding the plant's noncompliance, seeking injunctive relief and other measures and remedies. Then in March 2024, after the parties were working and collaborating to deal with the issues of the plant, um, 
Former Secretary MD issued an order requiring the city to come into compliance with the state issued discharge permit to operate the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant, also known as Back River, within 48 hours. Two days later, MD directed MES to take charge of the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant, including its operations, maintenance, and improvement functions. Um, a few days later, on and about April 1st, um, the Mayor's City Council filed a suit against MD, declaring the former Secretary's order was unreasonable and unnecessary. Thereafter, the parties began negotiating to address the MD's directive and order, and the parties subsequently agreed that the MD should issue a revised directive as well as the city to um, agree to a consent order, which is before this board today. Pursuant to those negotiations, the parties negotiated terms of the consent order and a reimbursement agreement that MES will be submitted to the city regarding the expenditures. And the theme of the consent order is that um, MES, which is the Maryland Environment Services, Environmental Services will provide projects and services not to exceed over 2.2 and a quarter million dollars for a litany of projects such as evaluating, repair, refurbishing the primary selling tanks, um, removal of accumulated solids from the plant and transport them off site, evaluate and repair active sludge, um, um, repair the mixer, centrifuges, and so on and so on throughout the consent order. And with that, um, the parties will collaborate and work together to do those things in reference to ensuring that the plant gets back into compliance. Um, and so this order is, a, is moving in the right direction in, ref in reference to the parties. Uh, what I mean by that is the city as well as the state to ensure that um, the Back River uh, Wastewater Treatment Plant is in compliance as relates to what was directed in the consent order that's before this board today. So at this time, DPW requests this honorable board to, to approve the consent order as well as the reimbursement agreement before you today. Thank you, Mr. General Counsel. At this time, are there any questions, concerns from members of the board? Uh, for General Counsel Ingram. Hearing and seeing none, uh, I will entertain a motion. I move approval. Thanks. It's been moved and probably seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. This item is approved. Uh, as there's no new business before the desk of this board, we will recess until bid opening at 12 noon. The next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of Estimates will occur on Wednesday, June 29th at 9 a.m. Board members, please be on the lookout for communications from my office to schedule a special meeting of this board to approve the budget and tax rates for fiscal year 2023. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Baltimore, please stay safe, and we absolutely love you. Thanks, Audrey. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Board of Estimates bid opening for June 22nd, 2022. I'm Celeste Amato. I'm the clerk of the Board of Estimates, and I'm joined by my colleague James Knighton, who will be reading out the bids. Um, first, I have a few addenda that changed uh, bid opening dates to share with the audience, and we do have live audience members. Welcome, everyone. Um, the first bid is Public Works WC1258. Apologies, my phone is going off. That again was contract number WC1258, Frederick Avenue and Vicinity and Lambeth and Kemble Roads water main replacement. Uh, the due date for that is July 20th, 2022. Another uh, change for Public Works, contract number WC1315, Hillen and Penn Lucy North Neighborhoods water main replacement. That due date is now July 20th, 2022. Also for Public Works, SC1019R, CCTV Inspection of Sanitary Sewers in Northeast Baltimore City. That due date is July 20th, 2022. And finally, for the Bureau of Procurement, contract B5000-6559, Supply and Delivery of Uniforms. That due date is August 3rd, 2022. And now we're going to open our, well, actually, we're not going to open our first bid. I'm going to read the bid that we did not get any bids for. <laughs> this bid is for Public Works, SC992, Egg-Shaped Digester Rehabilitation Improvements at the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant. We did not receive any bids for this item. Next up is for the Department of Public Works, contract number SC1020R, 
CCTV inspection of sanitary sewers in southern Baltimore City. And we have the following bidders, Jim. First bidder is Red Zone Robotics Incorporated. Total bid amount, $11,473,495. That number was $11,473,495. Yes. And I'm going to share that number again, 11,473,495.00. And that was for Red Zone Robotics. Yes, and bid bond is included. We have an original plus one copy. Up next. The next bidder is Spinello Companies. Total price, $9,330,000. That was $9,330,000? Yes. 9,330,000.000, and that was for Spinello. Yes. Bid bond is included. We have original plus one copy. Next bidder is Mobile Dredging and Video Pipe Incorporated. Total bid price $11,979,550. That amount was $11,979,550? Yes. Again, that number was 11,979,550.00, and that was for mobile dredging and video pipe. Yes, bid bond is included. We have an original plus one copy. Those are all submissions for that solicitation. Great, that was our, uh, we have three bids. Yes. That again was for contract number SC1020R. Yes. Okay, the next bid is G, uh, Department of General Services, GS20802, Engine 55 Fire Electrical Upgrade. Bidder is Glenelg Construction, Inc. Total bid price, $348,500. That amount was $348,500? Yes. That was 348,500.00 for Glen Elg Construction. Yes. And that was our only bid. Yes, correct? bid bond is included. We have original plus one copy, and that's the only submission. And that's it. That is it. That concludes our business today. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Good to see people once in a while. Huh? It really <laughs> is, even if it's from a slight distance. Right. Yeah. So thanks, everyone, and have a good day.